clouds this life belongs to me so again and warmth down to my dangling feet Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is a diaper caddy review. I actually got this diaper caddy sent to me by this very, very kind company. The name of it is Mayton. So you can see it right there. This was such a sweet thing for them to do. They got a hold of me on Instagram and asked me if I would review this for them, give an honest opinion. So that is what I am here to do today. So this is what it looks like. Guys, they contacted me like on a weeknight and this was sent to me like a day and a half later so I can already say their company does an amazing job of getting things out really really fast so um, this is what it looks like and they did give me the choice as to whether or not I wanted to review this or a like a uh, lunchbox backpack um, but I just moved into a new house if you didn't know and I really was like looking to change things up with our last diaper caddy. Our last diaper caddy was more geared toward, um, like it had elephants all over it, which was our nursery theme and the old house. And also it was just a little bit smaller and it didn't hold a lot. So I was already thinking about getting some different type of storage. Um, and then they reached out to me and I was like, this is so perfect. So um, I'm going to do an honest review today. I have done nothing with this bag. Um, so we're gonna see if it holds up to what the company says that it does. Um, the company says that it holds up to, um, I'm sorry, it holds 50 or more diapers. So I'm really ex anxious to see if it actually does. We do have these um, size 3, 360 cruisers fit, I Pampers I think is what the brand is. Um, so we do have these, they're on the bit of the larger side of diapers, um, sort of like a pull up. So I'm excited to see how many of them actually fit into here. So that's, I'm assuming, where the diapers go. That's where it is on the photo online. So there's that. Um, and then up here, when this comes in the mail, um, it was like this. So all I had to do was just flip it down so that was nice and easy. It's got a compartment right here, compartment right here. And then this whole thing lays flat and kind of will sit up once you get your diapers in the bottom of it. Um, and you can put some of this stuff that I have behind me up here. On the sides, I did notice that it does have one, one compartment, another compartment, another compartment, and another compartment. So there's four little netted compartments on this side. And then this actually unvelcros, and this pocket is super deep. It goes all the way, like almost elbow deep. So the other side actually is a little bit different. So there's a longer compartment here and another longer compartment here. This actually also unvelcros and it has the same length pocket on this side. So you've got some like really good storage in this thing. It's very good. And um, another thing to note is that it's super cool because it can hang on like a towel bar. It can hang on the side of your crib. It can hang on, like it has just a like a little bar hanger, which I think is super cool. My last diaper caddy did not have any hanging mechanisms at all. It just had two little handles. So you had to like carry it. So you can actually hook this onto something, which I think is so cool. And then it also has the option, if you wanted to keep this in your car or take this with you somewhere, you just unclick it and then you just push it around your car seat. So your front seat you just put it on the back of one of your front seat seats um, and it hangs like this in, sorry, let me turn this around. It hangs like this facing the back seat. So that is so cool to me that there is a hanging device on this. So you guys saw at the beginning of this video all the stuff I want to be able to put in this thing. And like I said, I've never packed it before. So we're going to see if it fits everything that I want it to fit and um, I guess I'll be able to tell by that is how I actually feel about this bag. Besides like everything that, like all the compartments and stuff, I think it's a really, really, really pretty design. I love that it's neutral gray with these little tiny pops of blue and pink. I love it. This could be great for a boy or a girl or both. So brother, sister, siblings, twins, whatever. And it has the potential to hold a lot of stuff. So um, let's, 
Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see what it actually fits into it. First of all, I'm anxious to see about the diapers, so I'm gonna go ahead and try. We've got one, two, three, four, five diapers here. I think I counted 50, but we're just gonna make sure. So there's five right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen is fitting nice and there's a lot of room left. So sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there's 30 in here right now, and it is fitting perfectly. There is still a ton of room left. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I think we'll get five more because I only, for whatever reason, grabbed 45 diapers. So, um, there's still room for these to fit in here. So, I am happy with this. Oh my goodness. This is like my last diaper caddy fit, I think, 14 or 15 diapers in it. So, this is <laughs> going to be quite the change. Um, wow. Okay, you guys, this is it. 50 diapers fit in this thing. 50. And they are nice and stacked. They're not toss in here or even scrunch. There is room even at the top. You can see there's room at the top on both sides. So I can only imagine how many newborn diapers you could fit in this thing because it has got to be more than 50. So I'm going to go ahead and zip this up. We've got quite a bit of things that I want to be able to fit in the top of this. And I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to do what kind of makes sense with this bag. So I'm going to put this big bottle. This is baby sunscreen. Um, in one of these long things on the side over here. Up on top here, I'm going to go ahead and put just a few things, like his, um, a box of band-aids, a little thing of chapstick. I'm just going to kind of lay these things up here for the moment. His hairbrush, um, gas straps, butt paste. We've got hand sanitizer, um, insect repellent. I'm going to leave these things for the side because I think there's a really cute little compartment for that. I'm going to put these things. This is a nail clipper, baby nail clipper, and then a little syringe um, for some Tylenol because I don't know about you guys, but every time my baby takes Tylenol, I wash the syringe out and I like never know where I put it. So I'm going to keep it in here. Um, and then we also have this little remedies um, sterile saline mist. So I'm going to keep that in here as well. Um, now, on this side, where we have the little compartments, I'm going to do Johnson's Bedtime Lotion. And on the other one, I'm going to do his Cotton Touch Lotion, which is for the daytime. And oh, actually, I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to go ahead and do that in the bottom section. And then I'm going to put his hair stuff, which right here I have his um, conditioning spray that I use for the morning because he's got terrible like bedhead every morning and then um this styling foam styling foam which I actually use for like picture days or church or you know the days when he needs to look a little a little bit more put together than he normally does um so those fit actually perfect in there and then I'm gonna use this side compartment over here this little velcro compartment right here I'm gonna use this for these Johnson's head to toe cleansing cloths, which I do use on him pretty regularly. Um, 
This is so gonna be so nice to have one of those down here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit these into this pocket over here. This is a little bit harder to do on my lap than I thought it would be. They fit fantastically. Okay, so let's kind of organize the top here. See if everything can go nice and neatly here. I'm gonna put my hand sanitizer in this pocket up here with his lip balm. I'm gonna put some butt paste in this pocket here, the syringe and the um, nail clippers, and his hairbrush. So we'll kind of, that way it'll minimize what's like rolling around in here. Now, everything that I had on the floor over here fits in this caddy with the room to spare. So if you guys can see, there is basically an entire L shape over here that has absolutely nothing in it, which is amazing. Um, when Milo was a baby, we had all sorts of stuff in his caddy. We had bibs, binkies, binky straps, um, <clears throat> toy straps. We had little rattles. We had diapers, we had wipes, we had butt paste and uh, gas drops, we had medications, we had hand sanitizer, we had hairbrush, we had all of his hair stuff, we had extra outfits, we had so much stuff crammed into this little bag. And this, I can like confidently say, this would hold all of that and maybe even more. Like I am, I am very, very happy with this bag. So happy with this bag. So thank you so much, Maiton, for sending this to me. I absolutely love it. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Truly, honestly, like I said, I hadn't packed this and I really wanted to give my honest opinion and um, that is my honest opinion. I do love this bag and I absolutely love the way that it looks too. I'm very excited to put this on my first floor Unfortunately, my house is still being unpacked, so I don't really have a good area in which to put this right now, but I am going to go put it back there by that toy box because that's like Mila's little area down here, um, and it has all of his stuff over there. Anyway, we've got some tennis shoes, some rain boots back there, and so we're still kind of trying to figure everything out, but it's going to be so easy to now know that this area is completely stocked, and every time he needs change down here or he's fussy and needs some type of medication, I know where it's at. So this is probably one of the first things in this house that's getting like actually organized, but I absolutely love it. Um, Maiden, I was looking on their um, website. They do have a website. They also sell on Amazon as well. I will have a link down in the description box below for this diaper caddy if you would like to check that out. It is $19.99. It is super affordable and it is really, really good quality. Like honestly, it's such good quality. And like I said, it is just really cute. Especially if you are one of those women that loves neutral colors like me, but also likes to jazz it up. Like I love that this has blue and pink little pops and little, they look like little um, stars and just like circles and shapes. They're just, it's just really cute. It's very subtle. Um, it's a very subtle design, but I absolutely love it. And I love that it serves the function that it could be hung somewhere and off the floor. So I'm very happy with this. I love it so much. They have a bunch of stuff on their website too. Um, and that they sell on Amazon. You can go check that out. They have like backpack, um, like lunchbox backpacks. They have organizational um, bags. They've got just regular book bags. They have the rolly book bags. They've got so many bags. I think they have like a laptop bag. They just have so many cool bags. So I will have their link down below as well. So make sure to go check them out. So finally, all in all, I will give this bag a 10 out of 10 and I'm so happy they sent it to me. And this is how you spell Maten. It's M-A-T-E-I-N. And like I said, they do have their own website, but you can also find them on Amazon. They will have a link down below to so definitely go check them out. All right, guys, until next time, I'll be seeing ya. And you guys are going to get tons of cleaning motivation in this house. So definitely stay tuned. Have a great day, guys. Bye.